big small bank. Time to recap things from the sports side of things as we open up a brand new work week. The WNCC softball team played their first home games of the season over the weekend at Volunteer Field, splitting their four-game series with Trinidad State. In the split yesterday, it was a huge game at the plate for Victoria Wharton. She finished a perfect 7-for-7 seven seven with a home run included. Cougars softball will be back out on the road this upcoming weekend with games at Otero. The baseball team's weekend was a bit rough on the road for the Cougars. They dropped all four of their Region 9 conference games at Trinidad to fall to 5-8 in league play. In the 6-5 and 10-4 losses yesterday, the Cougars did combine to hit four home runs. They'll look to get right at home at Cleveland Field this upcoming weekend as they welcome in Lamar Community College. On the prep schedule today, there's doubleheader soccer for Scotts Bluff at home with the girls and boys teams entertaining North Platte. The Scotts Bluff boys off a 5-1 loss to Omaha South. Not bad, they're the defending Class A champs. That match was on Saturday. The Scotts Bluff boys 1-1. One one. The Bearcat girls are 1-0 after a blowout win over Sterling to open their season. Both gearing teams will be in action tomorrow with the girls at Torrington, the boys hosting the Trail Blazers. And there were three track and field meets of note over the weekend. The Benfield invite here in Scotts Bluff, the early bird meet at Morrill, and the John Ganser at Sydney. You can link to all those meet results and finishes with the high school sports weekend recap story on the website. Plus, last Friday, it was the Scotts Bluff boys golf team taking the top spot at the North Platte. Invitational. That will do it for today. That is the latest from right here at the FNBO Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell.